well then, now with transitions and OBS figured, we might as well end up looking at, well, a new thing that I think may or may not work. Basically, as of recently, got this Xbox One controller. I've heard of the Xbox 360 controllers working on Windows, but the Xbox One made me wonder, would it be compatible because at the end of this long wire it has a USB. When I read about having a USB, I started thinking there had to be ways, it had to be like the PlayStation 3, although that one was kind of strange, but now on the PC. But it's not Microsoft on Microsoft. But then I looked up about it, and it turns out they are compatible, apparently. Well, so I'd say I went online, and it turned out they're compatible right here. Especially on Windows 10 where it's already handled. So... Let's end up proving this. Unfortunately, since this is the laptop's webcam, it can't actually point to the side or anything. But this has to go over here. Hmm. At the moment, nothing's happening. <laughs> If I'm even able to tell if it's gonna work or not, I have all the notifications disabled. But there's no safely remove hardware, and this one's probably a 3.0. Hmm, push the Xbox button twice and light flash. Hmm. Okay, light is on in the middle, but will the computer pick it up? Hmm. There's no, like, installed hardware thing, so I don't know what to expect. But I'm gonna see can what a Currycraft do anything about it. X input controller number one. There we go. Lots of stuff I really have to move around unless this is all hard coded in which all my text will always be this unreadable. I don't even know what the default controls are but I'd like to configure them. I assume I configure them just by changing the controls here. Which I'm going to use mine because it's way easier. <laughs> Yet? It seems to be recognized by GZ Doom. And it's also lit up. Cool. It's, it's funny. Now that my controller's working, <laughs> my controller's not singing into my Xbox. What? So I went around with friends, I brought my controller with me, and now it's not singing into my Xbox again. Hmm. Well, it appears to be recognizing all the buttons. I'm assigning them sort of, almost like Call of Duty in a way, because I'm making B be the crouch button. <laughs> I guess some things you just have to do. <laughs> yeah. Strange has been recognized as central? No, pad B, there we go. Well, brother, I'll beat that. B. Transform super, no, I'm just testing. Trigger. And reload. There supposed to be another button for use. Great. <laughs> I guess maybe I'm running into this problem because like in games like Call of Duty you'd have both use and reload same button I bet. Here it's different. And also change weapon will have to be a thing. I'm thinking about making a script that changes weapons by just alternating between them all. Just for the controller users I'll probably modify some stuff. But now let's find that reload button again. <laughs> it's a real button. Um, 
Um, why am I bringing? Why am I bringing the hammer up? Switch to our this. So though, I'm just gonna move this over to the main screen. Very quickly. But to make his least uh, ugly space on screen as possible, though, let's go do that. Then, there. Now you can see the controller. And you can also see proof that it does stuff, though. For example, pushing this button makes that happen. This makes jumps, crouch. This would be use or reload if reload was a thing. Oh, well, uses this button. Which means if I manually walk up to something on the keyboard, uh, um, well, I can't really tell if it's even working, so it's just that noise. Yeah, you can see there every time I push this, uh, that, that little um, line of text appears in the sound debug info. So yeah, this works. All of this works. Except for this. So it works as an X input controller, which I think is what the same thing as the Xbox 360 controller was. Meaning, if you get an Xbox One controller, you're getting the advantage of still being able to use it on PC like an Xbox 360 one. There's some games that apparently don't recognize it. Now I want to find out why did I keep seeing him bring out the bring out the hammer every time I try to move? Cause that's really weird. Oh, it's cause I'll stick up. Oh, secondary L trigger. There. Now I should be able to move. Ah. Oh, and the right stick defaults to looking around. Perfect. I probably should assign um run to be hold down the trigger. I'm going full Call of Duty with controls here. Now I want to make Run also be assigned to pushing down the left stick. That's not a thing. Pushing it down is not considered a button. That's great. That means there has to be a dedicated Run button. I guess that means instead of Reload, I'll just assign this to you. Coming up with a good controls game. For now, I'll assign that to transfer to Super No, right not. Could assign the back button. Ah! Thought they said there wasn't a back button on the controllers, but there is. Just like with the Xbox 360 one, there's a start and a back button. Have to assign these. Stick down, stick up. Strafe left and strafe left. I just realized there's a typo, there's no strafe right here. But still, joystick, I have to decrease that sensitivity. The right thumb must be decreased. Ah, uh, there, now, now it's like I'm playing World of Kirbycraft. Call of Duty version. But with special abilities! <laughs> I don't know how good I play this at all. Oh, but all the abilities work! Awesome, I thought that controller button was screwed up. It's so different! Wait, I can't do Minecraft style running? What's going on here? Minecraft style running is done by pushing W twice, oh no. Do I have to double bind L stick up? If I have to double bind L stick up. Because double binding L stick up is more awkward than pushing W twice, but 
Oh well, what the god. Now let's try it. Ah, there we go. Minecraft still running on the Xbox One controller. <laughs> oh, I, I, I must see how I race with this on. Let's try to do a race with the Xbox One controller. Uh, uh, can't go around the corner sharply. Uh, 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 oh, I can, I can actually aim at that easier though. So, there's a plus to the Xbox One controller. Uh, I keep I keep thinking that I lose my running. Oh, that's that's the same time as I would get on the keyboard and touchpad. One problem I know already exists with controllers is that uh, Mary's spinning hammer attack is at the moment impossible. It requires you to rotate your view around fast enough. I already thought about this on controllers and would think that a controller would need a dedicated button to force you to do the spin. Just so that you could still hold it out and cancel it if you're using a controller. But you would also be allowed to... Well... You'd also be allowed to just either cut it off, or you'd be allowed to select what direction that you do the spin in. Problem is, it can't be the buttons used for aiming and all that. It can't be the ones used for doing your alternative attack or normal attack, especially when alternative attack is what does the hammer thing in the first place. But another thing, though, is that it has to be some way to activate it, but the catch is rotating can't be it. Unless, uh, unless Doom sets a special, um, variable on. If I can check for, like, a joysticks enabled thing, then I can check for if controllers are enabled. And if so, then I can make it decrease the amount that you have to rotate to trigger it. Even though, sadly, that means... That if your sensitivity is too high, it would trigger automatically. But making it with this uh, with this controller of mine, that would be interesting. But there's something else this one is known for, as I know. It's not just any ordinary Xbox One one. It has these buttons on it. Yes, and we can have light. Doesn't work that nicely with the with the, with the webcam, but oh. oh. Oh, uh, yes. Oh, let's see that one. Ah. Uh, which means... That I can select my particular color. For example, it could be blue and orange. Not that you really can see that, though, but still. It could be blue and orange. But still, though. <laughs> still, though, you know, it's interesting. So now the controller can now be colored. And it still works. Unfortunately, it has no way to no clip. But still. Just to demonstrate not, uh, the obvious problem I was talking about. Good luck starting that spinning hammer attack. You cannot spin fast enough to trigger it. So is there a variable I can check for, though? Joy X input. All those are set to true. There has to be an option that's set whenever enable controller support is turned on. these to fall because I don't need any of those on I just need X input because that's Xbox One controller
So yeah, though. It's official, though. Xbox One controller support is possible. So that's an interesting thing. Expect World of Warcraft to have some possible support for the Xbox 360 slash Xbox One controllers. Cause that will be interesting. <laughs> Just don't know why. It's probably gonna have a pretty unique experience and people like Mama Mama will probably prefer to have a controller than to have something else. So I might want to do something about this.